Hello viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch how to prepare a disaster recovery site using Hyper-V Replica. What is Hyper-V Replica? A replica of a virtual machine is a ready to run copy of your source machine in the target replica server. You can switch it on keep running in the target server and you can replicate it to both way this means once you have a replica configured infrastructure whenever something happened to your uh, main site or primary site or you have a plan to run um, some kind of maintenance in your uh, primary inf uh, site this time you can fail over your virtual machine to disaster recovery site and uh, you can keep it running for like uh, uh, six hours or one day or two day based upon your maintenance and once your primary site came back you can re-establish the replication from target server from disaster recovery site to your main site and uh, you can bring back your virtual machine in the main site today a lot of features are available to protect virtual machine but this feature is not a replacement for Hyper-V cluster because a Hyper-V replica maintain two copies of same machine one in the source server and other in the replica server but if you take Hyper-V cluster it will be a single copy shared to both hosts multiple hosts or so Hyper-V replica maintain a ready to run copy of VM when we compare with the backup, backup you will have multiple version of your uh, virtual machine based upon the date and uh, the time win time period that you took backup usual. And uh, to bring it live, you need to do some extra kind of jobs, and there will be a an relationship between the present data and also the backup data based upon the the f the frequency of your backup configuration. So Hyper-V Replica which maintain a ready to run copy that is the best definition for it to me it's maintain a ready to run copy of uh, your virtual machine in the target server. When Hyper-V Replica come to the picture the question is there are other replication technologies that are available like for Active Directory and Microsoft SQL, Microsoft Exchange. So whether Hyper-V Replica replace this uh, replication technology or who is superior to in this technology? It's a question. So we can say Active Directory Domain Services and Microsoft SQL Server have its own replication technology which is uh, far superior than Hyper-V Replica. So it is recommended to use this uh, kind of technology instead of using Hyper-V Replica for Hy um, Active Directory Domain Services and Microsoft SQL Server. How a replica work? I, I think this is the most simple uh, DR plan that you can bring because to replicate a machine the steps are very simple. You just need to enable a replica server configuration in your targets machine. Then you can initiate your replication from your source machine. There is two options you can initiate over the network. The other option is you can initiate uh, through a offline media or something. Once the initial sync uh, is done, then it will continue with the incremental changes from source to target. Uh, failover process. When a failover is, uh, or whenever a failure is happened in the in the primary site, the target host will be active. So we can say replica virtual machine is the active copy in that case and uh, once the primary site is recovered uh, the ability of uh, repl hyper-v replica is it can re-establish the replication in the reverse mode once the primary site is recovered some key things uh, that you need to note is you need a license because uh, to run a virtual machine in the replica or in the target site 
you need a license for the VM instance so if you have more than two you can think about a data center license or if you have just one two three machines you can think about uh, standard license it doesn't matter if you use same hardware or different hardware and it is not necessary to include all VHDS in replication here for the demonstration I have two machines node 1 and node 2 node 1 is a primary server and node 2 is a replica server to configure a machine as Hyper-V replica server you need to do three steps step 1 is to enable replica on the replica server so for this select your replica server open Hyper-V manager right click here go to Hyper-V settings in the left side you will see replication configuration by enabling this you are enabling this computer as a replica server the next option is to choose a port here I choose HTTP the other option is to choose as choose HTTPS protocol on the below you will see authorization and storage here you are authenticating all the uh, primary server to replicate here and you are also specifying the default location to store the replicated virtual machines VHDs hard and the configuration files so that's all I click apply it's just informing you that you have to enable a rule on the both the firewalls of the primary and replica server for port 80 that is what we are going to do next so here the second step in Hyper-V replica configuration is to enable firewall port on both primary and replica server for this open your PowerShell and run the following command for HTTPS I have to mention here HTTPS here I'm using HTTP so it's done so now I did it for replica server I'm going to do the same for primary server also third step in Hyper-V replica configuration is to enable replication on virtual machine in this case you can choose virtual machines inside the host it is not required to replicate all the virtual machines in a host you can choose one by one and enable replication so here to enable replication on this virtual machine right click on the bottom you will see enable replication click next here my replica server is node 2 okay the protocol which I'm using everything is ready here in case if you have multiple hard disk may multiple virtual hard disk sometime you may have virtual hard disk for backup or some unnecessary files you may have so in order to save the bandwidth uh, here you can unselect the unwanted VHDs for me I have only one VHD so I just choose it okay here you have three options either 30 second 5 minutes or 15 minutes which is the frequency at which changes will be sent to the replica server so here I choose 30 second because it's inside uh, the VMware workstation so just for the demonstration purpose right configuring additional recovery point here you can have uh, multiple recovery points like a snapshot and here also you can choose the frequency between the snapshot for the demonstration purpose I'm just using one recovery point that is latest send initial copy over network sometime you may need to consider the network bandwidth and in a protection environment so here uh, this this is the uh, position or this is the uh, place where the wizard asks you to configure such things so you can schedule the initial replication for a particular time like in a midnight or something or 
you can choose an external media option to initiate the to export the initial copy and uh, ship it to your dr site and then you can and import it from there so for the demo purpose i'm using send initial copy over the network and start replication immediately finished Once you initiate and enable replication, you can see the replication health from view replication health. Here you can see the replication cycles completed almost. And you can see a green tick on replication health. Now we are checking the replication from the primary side. The same feature is available in the replica side also. the replica side also you can see the replication health okay now the first option that we are going to do is planned failover for a planned failover we need to shut down the machine first so I shut it down the virtual machine in the primary side now I'm going to do a planned failover okay so it is ready for the planned failover so I'm going to the second site replica site and starting the virtual machine so once you complete a planned failover it, it means the virtual machine is now running on the replica site so and if you finish with your maintenance with your primary site you need to bring back all the changes to your primary site also so for that once you finish here you need to enable reverse replication so that you can do it from here reverse replication click next now your primary site become replica server using the same port choose your frequency and complete it Now at this point also you can check the replication health from here. You can see replication health is normal. Now if you as we finish with the primary site maintenance we are replicating the changes the changes what happened in the DR site to the primary site. And if you want to bring back the same machine in the DR site, again you can do a planned failover from here. Okay, so then it will be in the, the VM will be running in the primary site. So just make sure that whenever you do a planned failover, make sure you did the reverse replication also. Because if you did a planned failover and if you didn't enable reverse replication, then you will not get the changes uh, into the primary site. So do your planned failover, finish your maintenance in the primary site then do the reverse replication then you can again have a planned failover okay so this is how we work with the planned failover so let us see the other options here you can pause the replication if you have any network issue or something you can pause the replication then this is where we can remove the replication for this VM. now let us see what are the options available in the replica server in the replication said it's this failover means if the primary site is no more available then you cannot do a planned failover so that time you can do a failover like this okay test failover th this will create a new machine virtual machine which is completely independent of the the VM here you can see it uh, I have only one choice because I configured it for the latest recovery point so the beauty of this one is if you did any changes it's not going to affect on the other copy it's completely independent so this will help you to uh, test uh, once once you replicate everything if you want to test something some updates or something that you can test it here that's the beauty of uh, uh, text failover so I'm just uh, shutting down here okay once it is shut it down you can delete this machine 
all right so we finished the failover test failover and extend replication is something that if you now we have a primary server and a replica server if you want to replicate the virtual machine to a third site from the replica server you can use extend replication for this VM by using this you are giving the third replica server here and you can complete it for uh, for the demonstration I'm not showing here it is to have all the same steps that you need to enable the replication there you need to open ports there then uh, you need to uh, do extend replication for the VM from here that this this, this three steps only involved so that is all that is all the options available related to hyper replica thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe niaz or tech space youtube channel